Greetings fellow YouTubers, Fuzzfinger here with Kingdom Hearts again once more today and we're going to be heading to this brand new area, a level 10 battle level world so make sure you are prepared for the challenges that lie ahead and let's get on with today's show. As always folks, if you do enjoy the episode today, please support me by hitting the like button and subscribing to the YouTube channel. If you do subscribe, don't forget to hit the bell notification next to the subscribe button, which is a new YouTube feature so that you can be kept up to date with new uploads for that subscription. There was actually just a patch I downloaded, which I had to do before I could actually play today, patch 1.03. It was just over a gigabyte in size. I'm not too sure what that patch was about, what it's done, if it's done anything interesting uh, at all. I've not been able to find any information about it on the internet and as far as I'm aware it wasn't anything that was revealed to contain anything important so I'm just going to assume it's got some bug fixes and whatnot in it and we'll crack right on with the show. So usual gummy mission getting a little bit challenging now and here we are just approaching our brand new destination. This is the Hollow Bastion so we'll go ahead and disembark and see what horrors lie ahead of us. So already we can see that this is a very strange environment, one that is going to be a place that we visit numerous times as well. So we can see there's water below us, we can jump up onto the platforms here, or we can actually just jump straight down into the water and notice that we can float on it or walk on it or whatever it is you want to say that we're doing here, we're not swimming that's for sure. So we're just going to make our way through these rocks here. And we can see there's a chest just on the other side. So we'll go ahead and open that. That's got a life gene side, so we'll grab that. And now we're going to make our way over to the original platform. And these bubbles, we can actually go ahead and freeze those. So if we jump up onto this platform here and just head down to the magic menu you can add it onto the shortcut if need be uh, but just add the blizzard R to those bubbles and that will obviously do what it's just done but ah okay you get a limited time so I'll do less chatting and more jumping this time once I've gone ahead and frozen there we go and we'll go ahead and grab the chest another set of Dalmatians for us And from here we can head over to the next platform. From here we're just going to freeze the next bubble. See ya. This will give us access to yet another chest. A blizzard ring. Okay, and now we're going to have to freeze that bubble again. So, I don't know if we can freeze it from there or not. We'll jump down back here first. Actually, no, we're not going to freeze it. We can actually jump into it and that will take us under the water. So, sorry about that, I got a little bit confused, but... We can only go under the water, you see, once we're actually in those bubbles. And we're just coming down here to grab the Meteor G. And that's absolutely fine that we've been taken back up. That's what we wanted. You only get a certain amount of time to do what it is that you need to do. Before being hoisted back up. To the solid land areas. 
and again we're going to start making our way back up the platforms. And we're just going to keep traversing these locations here until we get a cutscene. No vessel, no help from the Heartless. So tell me, how'd you get here? Hmm. Uh, I simply believed. Nothing more to it. When our world fell into darkness, Bell was taken from me. I vowed I would find her again, no matter what the cost. I believed I would find her. So here I am. She must be here. I will have her back! Take her if you can. time. I've been waiting for you. We've always been rivals, haven't we? You've always pushed me, as I've always pushed you. Riku! But it all ends here. There can't be two Keyblade Masters. What are you talking about? Let the Keyblade choose. It's true, Master! Maleficent was right. You don't have what it takes to save Kairi. It's up to me. Only the Keyblade Master can open the secret door and change the world. But that's impossible. How did this happen? I'm the one who fought my way here with the Keyblade. You were just the delivery boy. Sorry. Your part's over now. Here. Go play hero with this. Hey, don't move! You're hurt! Why? Why did you... you come here? I came... to fight for Bell. I'm not gonna give up now. I came here to find someone very important to me. Okay, so a few changes here have just been made for us uh, beyond our will, so we don't get choice in this. Donald and Goofy have left for the time being, and Beast has joined us. And also, we no longer have access to the Keyblade. As you can see, the only weapon we have is the wooden sword, unfortunately, so we'll just have to make do uh, with that. Fortunately, we can still do damage with it. So, for the time being, it is just going to have to do for us. Uh, okay, so first things first, we can see there's a chest. Let's go ahead and grab that. We can still use our abilities, such as glide, an extra jump and what have you. That gives us a Megalixir. And then we're going to make our way up here. 
by climbing as high as we can get. And this will take us to the entrance of the next area, the castle gates. Now enemies will also start spawning at this point. And there's going to be a few different kinds of them. Uh, looks like Beast has got a nice amount of health there, doesn't it? His health bar is quite extended, 66. So yeah, if you hadn't noticed already, as you increase your MP and health, those bars do extend around your character's portrait. And they can get quite lengthy as well, as you level up to some of the higher levels. So here we are at the castle. And we're going to head through this gate first of all, to the right hand side of us. And we're going to start by examining this crystal here. And then this one. This will bring us to a new area, a little bit lower down. And we've got some enemy spawns as well. Which we're going to have to just smack with our wooden sword. And as you can see, we're not really doing any damage with it. But fortunately Beast is going to help us. And we do also have our magic attacks as well. If we want to uh, be of some use in these battles I guess. But for now we're just going to let Beast take those dart balls out. And we can see there's two bubbles here. One on the right. One on the left. We're going to take the left hand one. Uh, we're not going to freeze it. We're just going to jump into it to be transported. And here we're going to just jump up the platforms to grab the next available chest. Only a mithril. But if we jump across here, there's also another chest we can grab. With an item for our gummy ship there. And there's another crystal which we can go ahead and examine. And that's going to push a platform out for us. So it's quite a platformy area, this isn't it, with a few puzzles and that to solve, as you can see. And if we jump across here, this is actually close to where we entered the zone. And if we head across to this chest, then we'll grab a Paper G item. Just trying to get my bearings now. Okay, I think we're best going this way next. And okay, yeah, we can move this block. That's what I was looking for. And we want to push it so that we can jump up there. We can just locate this correctly. There we go. That should do nicely. Okay, and then we can jump up to the next area. And there should be another crystal around. There it is. We'll go ahead. And that will extend the next platform for us as well. And then we can go ahead and jump on these newly extended platforms to handily reach the other side. And I believe there's nothing else to do here. We can just enter into the next area, which is called the waterway. So... There's a gate here which we can't open, but we can use this call command and Beast will do it for us. And then we can go ahead and grab the chest. Thunder guard you inside of that for us. At this point we're actually going to head back to the base level. And we're actually going to jump down to the water below. So this is where we first entered this area and we're going to go to the right hand bubble this time to be transported to a new place that we haven't yet visited. And from here we can grab the other chest which we did just see but couldn't access. And we'll go ahead and save our game. 
From the save point there, we're going to once again use the call command. Beast will break through the door for us. He's nice like that, isn't he? And this bubble here is our next bubble of usage, if you like. So we'll go ahead and freeze it. And if we jump up on there, we should be able to reach uh, a ledge. Yes, just like that, you see. And we need to play a little bit carefully here so we don't fall off. We can go ahead and open the chest, which contains a dark matter, something I highly recommend you don't miss out on. It's super useful for some of the tougher synthesis recipes later on. Uh, but after that, we can basically jump down. And we don't want to head through that at the moment. I believe we can use Beast here. I'm just trying to find the right location. Okay, we do just need to head into this bubble first of all to take us to our next location. And it's around here that we use Beast. We can see this stone wall is looking a little bit weak. Nothing that Beast can't handle there. And that will take us into this area known as Dungeon. So we'll take care of the Heartless. Or rather, I should say, Beast will take care of the Heartless for us. And we can just chillax as he does so. So a couple of chests, we'll grab those. Thunder Guard G, and there's an Ultima G in this next one. And you'll see there is a Trinity Jump here. Obviously we can't use that at the moment, but it should be a sign that you know, we'll be back here as normal in the future. Okay, so we'll go ahead and leave this room now, back to the waterway. And just over here to the left of where we exited that room, so there's the room we left, the dungeon. Uh, if we walk on the water, we can see there's a, an object here we can interact with. This is actually a button, so we're going to go ahead and click that. And if we go here, we can see there's another switch, so we'll click it again. And then if we make our way through to the newly opened area, we can see yet another switch. And then finally, there's one more switch. Just over here. I mean, it, it might look complicated, but it's really linear. You just hit them in order as they become available. And all we need to do is go into this bubble. And here we have another switch. Now there's a strange encounter we're about to discover. So this is a defender. And we need to let Beast hit it from behind, because you can't take it from the front. So we'll go in front here, as Beast does the damage from behind. Now unfortunately we are just going to have to take the damage. We can parry. But it shouldn't take Beast too long to take that thing out, so... Looks like we're sorted there. Uh, and there's another switch for us to use, whoop de doo -dah. Okay, now a door has been opened, so all we can do now is head back the way we came, and that means having to use uh, all these other switches once more. So we don't need to use that one, but just in the previous area. Make sure we use them correctly. A 
And then we can use this one that we just ran past. And then we don't really need to use this one, I don't think, but I'll go ahead and do so for OCD's sake. And then once again, we can use the bubble to head back. So you might want to head back in here now and just use the save points because we do have a boss battle that we're about to encounter. Okay, so now we're saved up again. We can head back to the bubble behind us. And we're going to be heading back to the gate of the castle where we first entered after going through the initial platforming section. So you will be getting more enemy spawns here. You can fight them with beast. Or just move to the crystal. I'm not sure actually if we can... Oh yeah, we can activate the crystal, I think, even without killing these. Uh, activating that crystal is what will remove us to the next area, or the previous area, if you like. Uh, your main role in these battles is just to keep Beast nicely healed. We are the healer to his tank, I suspect, is a good way of putting it. Okay, we do have to kill the final one here. Thank you, Beast. And we are also going to have more enemy encounters in the next area, including another defender more than likely. So remember, for those guys, we do need to make our way around them in order to distract them from the front, while Beast unleashes his combos from behind. Let's see if we can do anything with our magic. Go for a nice graviar. I think we did, but where the heck has Beast gone? Has he jumped off the edge or something? He just leaped off to his death. Okay, well, let's just skip out on this. Uh, I do recommend healing Sora. Let's just go into the next area. He's back. I can feel it. Are you ready for them? <gasps> no! Quit while you can. No, not without Kyrie. The darkness will destroy you. You're wrong, Riku. The darkness may destroy my body, but it can't touch my heart. My heart will stay with my friends. It'll never die! Really? Well, we'll just see about that. Ah! Sora ain't gonna go anywhere. You'd betray your king? Not on your life. But I'm not gonna betray Sora either, cause he's become one of my best buddies after all we've been through together. See you later, Donald! Could you tell the king I'm really sorry? Hold on, Goofy! We'll tie them together! Well, you know, I'm the one and right for all. I guess you're stuck with us, Sora. Thanks a lot. Donald, Goofy, 
How will you fight without a weapon? I know now I don't need the Keyblade. I've got a better weapon. My heart! <laughs> Your heart? What good will that weak little thing do for you? Although my heart may be weak, it's not alone. It's grown with each new experience, and it's found a home with all the friends I've made. I've become part of their heart just as they've become a part of mine. And if they think of me now and then, if they don't forget me, then our hearts will be one. I don't need a weapon. My friends are my power. Huh? Huh? Right, so here we are battling against Riku once more, and he will be back using his combos as you would expect, I guess. You might want to go ahead and use Tinkerbell, but otherwise just avoid his combos. Really, he's only got 500 health, so oh, I can't actually cast Tinkerbell because I don't have the MP. Let's just move out of the way. You might want to keep Aero. Or Aero Art up as well. The extra defense is going to help you a lot. To be honest, I'm not even going to bother using the summon. I don't think we're going to need to. But if you do struggle, then that's an option for you. I mean, he's already down to his final health bar. This upgraded error R spell lasts quite a little bit longer, as you can see. So just keep refreshing it when need be. And so it will drop pretty fast, in all honesty. And he's down. And it looks like we've got the Keyblade back as well. Wonderful. So, your heart won this battle. And we can finally do the white trinity marks that we've been seeing throughout the areas in this game so once we're finished in this place we're going to head back to those and get them all which should give us some nice stuff as well uh, but for now we're going to continue on with our current area so we're going to begin by heading up these stairs here and straight through into this door where we can see that it says there's four sockets what goes into them so let's just have a quick look around here for a moment okay so back outside just fly around look we Okay, so in this room here with the door that we can't yet access, or actually I don't even know if it's a door, it's just kind of a Muriel thing on the wall, isn't it, that we can't do anything with yet. Uh, but over here on this side, not on the other side, but on this side, you can actually jump up. It's a little bit tricky, we've got to try and get the edge. There we go. And this will allow us to come back up, uh, or to come up here to the top. And if we just jump across carefully to the other side, we can access a chest here which contains an AP up and now we're going to head across here into the next room this will take us into the library and there's a book on the ground so we'll go ahead and just run into that and we'll loot it it's a Karma Volume 8 and with that we need to actually place it onto the bookshelf okay no surprise that gives us access to the next area
and we can turn around here to this pillar and spin it a couple of times this will give us access to a chest that's the first time and the second There we go, three times in total, so we get an elixir from that one, and there's some stairs here, nothing else to do down here for now, so we're just going to go up these stairs, and we can see there's two more pillars, and we're just going to do the same thing again, so I think this one we have to do three, three or four times to actually get to the chest. So we'll just keep doing it. A bit of patience, but we'll get there. Okay, one more should do the trick. There we go. And then this next one up here will also uh, need to be turned. Only this time, I think it's five times we have to turn this. Two. No, I'll wake me up when this is over. Oh, there we go. Look. Uh, grab the mega potion. And of course, as a save point, we are definitely going to be using that bad boy. And I'll tell you what folks, I'm going to finish off the episode here today, since we've had a boss fight and there's quite a bit more to do here, so we'll pick that up next time. But anyway guys, thanks for joining me, I hope you've enjoyed, if you have, don't forget to let me know in the comments section and subscribe to the YouTube channel as well. Right, cheers folks, see you soon for more Kingdom Hearts.